the issue of sliding and head first or feet first, that's an issue of physics. And there's dynamics, dynamic equations that do that. There's three things that are important uh, mathematically. There's momentum, which is your mass of the body times how fast you're moving. And that's your momentum that's carrying you along towards that base. Then there's your angular momentum, because as you start to slide, if it's feet first, you're doing this sort of thing. Right? Now your feet are going out from under you and you're rotating that way. Um, if you do a head first slide, you're rotating the opposite way, kind of counterclockwise as your hands go down. And the angular momentum is your mass moment of inertia times the rotational rate. And then on top of that is Newton's law. That the forces is your, are your mass times your acceleration, or the moments are your moment of inertia times your angular acceleration. Now what this means is, in terms of lay layman's terms, you're heading towards the base, you have all this momentum moving, but air is trying to slow you down. Your feet keep pushing you against that air. Feet, 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 and you're doing these pulses. To get to the bag really fast, you'd probably just run to it, but you're going to get tagged out <laughs> if you go past it. So you've got to stop at the bag. So now it's a question of decelerating, but getting to the bag as fast as you can. Um, if you, what you do is then you want to get down on the ground so you're at that level so you can get that bag. If you do a slide and you leave the ground, right away your momentum now is still carrying you. You still have that velocity, air is starting to slow you down, but now you want to rotate. So just as you leave the ground, you got to do something with your feet to get yourself to rotate. If it's head first, you're kind of pushing up, your head's going down, your arms are going out, and you want something so your hands can get that bag and then you can make sure you don't slide past it to keep a hold of it or something touched. Feet first the other way. Now which would be faster? Turns out your center of gravity is where the momentum moves. Your center of gravity is a little, it's more than halfway from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. It's lower. So as you rotate about your center of gravity, if you go head first, you have a longer distance with those fingers. You actually get there faster. Your center of gravity is moving at V, but you've got your hands going. Your center of gravity is lower than halfway between your feet and hands, so therefore your feet don't get there as fast. So the fastest way to get there is head first. It's really controversial about first base. Um, every once in a while you'll see somebody trying to beat out a drag bunt or an infield hit, they will head first slide into first. And Mathematically, if you looked at this equation up here in the momentum, you might think maybe there's a slight advantage because your center of gravity is back here. You're still getting your hands. Maybe you could slightly beat it. But through the years, people haven't done it, and I think because it actually is a detriment. Because once your feet leave the ground, you're no longer pulsing. You're no longer keeping the force. You start to decelerate and you're gonna to start to slow down. And even when you're running, you still get your stride. You still get your foot way out ahead of your center of gravity anyway. So you're probably getting three or four of those, uh, of that feet anyway. So I think in general, most people agree you should run right through first base as fast as you can.